Hey, hey, what's going on? Daniel Medina, Phoenix, Arizona. How's it going, you guys? I'm so excited today because I'm going to be talking today about cabbage soup. Cabbage soup. I don't know what your experience is with cabbage soup, but I have some fun stories. But I'll tell you how this whole thing came about. Uh, as some of you might know, I, I'm very passionate about backyard gardening and hydroponic gardening and tower gardening. And I have been growing Chinese cabbage over the winter, all winter long. And I have, I had some huge uh, Chinese cabbage plants in the back. I don't know if you saw any of my previous videos, uh, but this is, this is an indication here of some of the, this had a full on leaf all around it. And um, many of them, and I just, this I just cut off yesterday and then, um, and then chopped up the cab, the leaf. And then I actually gave some to my neighbor. Uh, I have some in the fridge to make a salad today, and then I also put some in the freezer. So I wanted to uh, share with you a little bit. I know I'm not the only one but I'm that's guilty of this, but I know a lot of times we go to the grocery store, we have the best intentions, we buy these greens, and we buy these lettuces, and these field greens, and mixed greens, and spring greens, and then we bring them home, we put them in the fridge, and then a week later, we're tossing them into the garbage because we didn't prepare them and they've gone bad. And so we're basically throwing money away. So one of the things that I, I really like about growing my own food in the backyard is we most of the time we pick only what we eat and then the plant grows more and then we don't waste any. However, sometimes we do pick more and sometimes it uh, sits in the fridge and sometimes we do, we do throw some away as well. And I hate... I hate, I hate, I really dislike throwing away food just because of the process that it takes to grow it, the process a lot of times that it takes to um, transport it, to get it to the kitchen table, to get it to your plate, and I just uh, have been raised not to raise a deeply ingrained program not to waste food. One of the things I recently learned, and that's not a new thing, but a lot of people will freeze, freeze, put stuff in the freezer. So... Uh, I'm from New Mexico, and uh, I, if you know anything about New Mexico, one of the things that we're famous for in New Mexico is our hatch ch chili. So if you look at any New Mexican's freezer, they probably will have several bags of this. This is like worth its weight of, in gold, and this green chili is actually wor uh, famous worldwide. Uh, a lot of people, to do some research on New Mexico hatch chili, you'll see how popular it is. So uh, I learned that I could also do the same thing with my, my cabbage, my Chinese cabbage. So this whole bag here is chopped up uh, Chinese cabbage that is ready to uh, be prepared. And you, you know, I've been one of those purists that was taught anytime you cook greens, you lose nutrients. Well, sometimes you just, you have to cook greens, it's okay. <laughs> I think sometimes we, we, uh, we, we pick the wrong battles to fight. So Karina, my wife, was in the kitchen the other day and she prepared this awesome cabbage soup. And she put carrots in it, she put carbonzo beans in it, she put lots of love into it. And I had the idea to share this week, instead of how to do seedlings, is how to prepare this awesome cabbage soup. I, I did a cabbage soup diet in college with my cousin and roommate and loved it and had great results. And eating this cabbage soup I was reminded of how much I like the cabbage soup and how, how healthy it is. And I thought to myself, why, why, why don't I do a video today on how awesome this cabbage soup is. So I'm going to let you guys see it. I'm going to let you see a little bit of what it looks like. So you can see the cabbage in there. You can see the garbanzo beans in there. You can see the carrots. Uh, I also, yesterday I cut up some avocado, put some avocado over the top to give it kind of a creamier consistency, put a little bit of chili in it, we, you could put some rice noodles in it. I'm so delicious, I can't wait to finish this video because I'm going to be eating the rest of that. So delicious, so healthy. I had a lot of bloat from all the New Year's eating and drinking. I flushed my system in one day. I felt uh, inches thinner the next day. I had more energy, digestion on point, pants fitting right, and that was just in one serving. 
Usually you would do something like this if you were really looking for accelerated results. Seven days, three days, you pick what you want, but you know, lifestyle changes, incorporating more and more healthy stuff into what you do. I tell you what, I'm really excited about it. Not only um, the cabbage did I freeze, I also froze some of my cat, my um, celery that, I, that I've grown. And so my whole wasting food, I'm not wasting food anymore. So excited, being healthy, nutritious food. I'm gonna take a minute here. I'm gonna take you guys into the backyard and show you the gardens. We, if you want more inter information on how to do, how to get one of these gardens, please uh, comment, like, subscribe. We have a, a group on Facebook called Modern Urban Gardeners, where we share tips on how to grow food, how to be more self-sustainable, how to enjoy gardening. We, so many things distracting us these days, and so many things uh, we need to bring ourselves back into the moment, back into supplying our own food. I'm, I'm having a great time, and I'm happy to do this video. And I'm going to take you guys outside right now. Let me disattach here. Let's go. So these are the gardening systems that I use to grow the, all the food that I'm talking about. This is uh, celery, nutritious, hearty, dark, full of nutrients. Everybody's uh, raving about celery right now. Let me just chop this off. cilantro, onions, this is uh, broccoli, but this is just really hard, look, vibrant, hearty, tasty. I could put some of this celery in that soup too. This one I just set up yesterday, tomatoes, kale, kale, tomatoes, romaine, using no pesticides. This is where that Chinese cabbage came, so you can see how huge it is was just enormous. I decided to harvest it yesterday. We're having lots of fun. We lo I love gardening. You know, we have so many things we could spend our money on right now. And um, we all have to eat. We Most of us like to eat well. I'm really having a lot of fun. And I invite you to learn more. Thanks so much.